Hello and welcome to Dune Does DVD. It feels a little bit weird to be doing this without my background, but that'll be back eventually. And in the meantime, there are pickups to talk about. Just five from the last month or so, but will likely be the last pickups before the Christmas haul. So let's just get straight on with it. And first we have Tremors 5 Bloodlines. This is another direct-to-video sequel in the Tremors series, which I am a big fan of. I have all of the other Tremors things. I've not actually watched it yet, but I look forward to it. But looking at the back, I see it's one that's not set in perfection, like Tremors 2. It's another one where ass blasters are terrorising somewhere else in the world, in this case, South Africa. I really hope that when this new supposed Tremors TV series comes on, it's a continuation and not a reboot. Fingers crossed. Second, we have Joss Whedon's Much Ado About Nothing. The language generally gives me a hard time appreciating Shakespeare like some people do. But I saw this at the cinema and did really enjoy it. Even with the original text in a modern day setting, it actually worked really well. But I do think at least part of my enjoyment came from the fact I was enjoying all the various Whedonverse actors rather than just the story itself. Perhaps on subsequent viewings, I can learn to appreciate the language more. Third is a slightly odd one, which I imagine few people will have actually heard of. Q. This is a French film which the back cover describes as graphically erotic, but that's not entirely unexpected for a French film. Do they even make action movies? I don't think I've ever seen one. But it's an interesting exploration of love and desire, which I really enjoyed. Fourth, we have a new addition to my Masters of Cinema collection with Shane. As someone who hopes to one day own the entire Blu-ray Masters of Cinema collection, as soon as I saw this was to be a limited edition, I had to buy it. Of all the genres of film, Western is probably the one I've watched the least of, so I know very little about this. But as always, I'm sure it's in the Masters of Cinema collection for a good reason. It's a two disc set and I see you now having re read the back, but it seems that only disc two is the really limited edition, so there'll prob probably be a single disc version released in the future. A stunning high definition restoration in three aspect ratios, and it's the two alternate aspect ratios on the second disc which make this limited. The second one appears to be a more optimized for widescreen version, but I'm not sure whether that's actually a good idea. Then finally there's one which I forgot I'd even pre-ordered until I got an email from Zavi. The lovely steelbook of Marvel's Agent Carter. What was only originally intended as mid-season filler ended up being better than the parent series Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. itself. But of course now I'm also committed to hopefully getting subsequent series on Steelbook so that they all match. And there we have it, five new lovely additions to my collection which now have to be hidden away in a cupboard because these shelves are on the way out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.